Hello and welcome back to HP Calx. As usual, I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at how to do linear equations on the TI-36X Pro Scientific Calculator. To do this, we'll be using the second function key, it looks like this, located here, as well as the tan key, that looks like this, located down here. So, if we want to solve linear equations, what we're trying to do is solve for an x, a y, or a z whether they're two variable or three variable equations. To get started, we press the second function key and then the tan key. That brings us up to this menu here. Here we can choose whether we want to do two variable or three variable equations. To start, we'll do two variable equations. So we'll press enter and go to this screen here. Now what we want to do is enter in our equations. So our first example will be this here. First equation being 1x plus 1y equals 1. So we enter that. Our first variable is 1x. Enter. Plus. Yep. And then 1y. Yep. Equals 1. There we go. It's entered. 1x plus 1y equals 1. And our next equation, 1x. And now here we go minus 2y. So we need to change this to a negative with a minus key, and then 2y, 2, there we go, equals 3. And there we have our two equations, so we press solve, and it solves x is equal to 5 over 3, and y is equal to negative 2 over 3. Now these are in fractions, and if we want these in decimals, all we have to do is press this key here, this left and right arrow key, and you can see they're converted to 1.6666, etc. for x, and y is negative 0.6666, etc. That's a 2 by 2 or 2 variable linear equation. All right, on to our 3 variable equations. So, again, to get there, we press second function, tan, back to this menu here, scroll down to number 2, and press enter. Now we get this screen here, where we enter our variables in as a matrix. So the first row will be our first equation, which is this here. 5x minus 2y plus 3z equals negative 9. So to get started, our first column will be our x's, so 5, enter. And then we have our 2y, but this is a negative 2y, so we do negative 2, enter and then 3 for 3z or z, 3, there we go, and equals negative 9. This one, last one here is our negative 9, enter. So there you see our first equation entered into the matrix. We do that with the second one as well, so 4x plus 3 plus 5 equals 4, and then 2 plus 4. And then again, we have a negative. So the negative sign down here for our 2 equals 14. All right, we have all three of our equations entered now. If we press solve, you can see it brings us to this system solutions here, giving us an x equals 0. Scroll down a y equal to 3, and down one more, and a z or z equal to negative 1. And once we're done, we can scroll one over to the right, highlight the quit, and press enter. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody!